Strap in. We're racing to the future. Have you ever wanted to get behind the wheel of a race car and just feel that power and, and have that exhilarating experience of going really fast? Well, now you can. Well, not really, it's a computer simulator. Also double not really because you won't be allowed to get in it. But I wanna talk about the Toyota Racing Development Divisions Simulator because it's an amazing piece of technology and computer simulators are an important component in our journey into the future. To program a race car simulator, the team at TRD has to take everything into account. I'm talking about the type of vehicle, its center of gravity, its suspension, its tires, its engine power, not to mention every single aspect of every single course in every single race series. It's a huge amount of work that would have been impossible just a couple of years ago. The simulator itself looks like a really high-end video game. There are dials and readouts that give you information as if you were behind the wheel of a professional race car. And you've got haptic feedback on your steering wheel so it actually feels like forces are acting on you as you pilot through the course. A wide angled screen gives you the feeling like you're there in person. Everything is set up so that it becomes an immersive, intense experience. So let's say you're a race car driver competing in the Sprint Cup, that's the jewel of NASCAR, and your next race is a road course style race, which means it's not an oval, you're not going fast and turning left a lot, it looks like an actual road. The simulator could help you learn what your limitations as a driver and your vehicle's limitations are so you can prepare for the actual race day. And because it's a perfect simulation of the course, you know what to expect around every corner. It's pretty cool. But I think the really cool thing about this technology is how it could benefit us down the line. You're not likely to be able to buy a race car off a dealership lot, but the vehicle you do purchase could have technology in it that is the product of all this research and development. Computer simulations are getting more accurate all the time, and not just in the race car industry. We're seeing computer simulations play an important role in the aerospace industry, the medical field, meteorology and computer science, and more. Just a few years ago, this would be impossible. But because Moore's Law keeps chugging along, in defiance of physics itself, we've seen them improve over time. We've seen simulators replicate everything from a rocket launch to neural activity in the brain. I imagine that in a few decades, assuming that we can keep Moore's Law going along with some engineering tricks, we're gonna have amazing simulators that can replicate everything from seismic activity to the gray matter in your noggin. But let me ask you guys a question. If you could jump into any simulated vehicle you could imagine, what would it be and why? Would it be a race car or an experimental aircraft? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button for us and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to the channel. Oh, and big thanks to Toyota for making this episode possible in the first place. Oh guys, before you go, I got something important to tell you. There are other amazing videos right over here and you should watch them.